Hello everyone and welcome to this quick tip from BlenderCookie.com. My name is Jonathan Williamson and today I'm going to give you a run through on how to use the knife tool that was introduced in Blender 2.63 along with BMesh. So the, the new knife tool, uh, which is sometimes referred to as the super knife, is very handle be handy because it's essentially a topology pin tool. So I've got a real world example here where I have this fairly simple model that makes use of several ingons here and here, here and here and I want to turn this into a quad only mesh so there's a few ways that I could do this I could just uh, go through start adding in my edge loops and then oh I look like I have a problem there so I might have to you know just say subdivide this piece and then I could go in and I could start connecting these just by hitting J with the vertex connect tool but then you can see these are not lined up and you know, it's a little tedious. So this the knife tool makes this a lot easier. So the knife tool can be accessed one of two ways. The first way is from the toolbar, which you have knife and select. Now this is not very apparent, but this is actually basically, this is the knife tool, and this is the knife tool to work only on the selection. So this one will work on any portion of the mesh that is actively in edit mode, and this will only work on your current selection. The other way to do it is just by simply hitting K or Shift K. So if I wanted to just connect these, I would just hit K. And when I hit do that, I immediately have a new cursor icon along with this little green dot. And this green dot basically represents where I'm going to insert my new cut. You can also see along the bottom left-hand side here, we have a series of options of things that we can do, such as either return or spacebar to confirm the cut, left mouse button to actually cut in a new line, right mouse button or escape to cancel a cut, E to start a new cut, control to activate snapping on midpoints, shift to ignore snapping, C to constrain the angle, and Z to cut through. So I'm not going to talk about these too much. Um, I do encourage you just to play with them, but we will be using the E for starting a new cut quite often. So let's just take a look at if we wanted to then just cut in several new faces here or several new edges to then give us a straight edge along here, 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 and here. This is quite easy because I can simply move over here. You notice that as I hover over an edge or vertex, that edge or vertex becomes highlighted. So if I say click on this vertex, you can see it draws out a line from that one and I can now place this new cut anywhere that I want. And I could snap this directly to the midpoint by holding down control. I can snap it to any other midpoint or any other vertex by holding down control. Or I can simply select this edge, left click, and it will start a new cut, or excuse me, it'll place that new point. So now I have another line and I could go in and I could draw this out anywhere, but maybe I don't wanna work on this area just yet. I would rather just focus on this next part. So this is where we hit E to start a new cut. And now I can draw out from that same vertex or even the vertex that I've just added that's still, this is not actually a real vertex yet or a real edge because they're only added in the, the knife so far. These haven't actually been confirmed, but we can still activate or work directly on those vertices and edges. So now I can just say left click here and then maybe I'll draw down, select that. And maybe that's as far as I wanna go. So now I'll just hit return on my keyboard and it makes those cuts real. Well, that's pretty cool. But, you know, there's a few things here. Number one, these are not straight. Uh, there is some ways that we could get around this. So, you know, we could just go in, use vertex snapping, and snap that down to that vertex. And that would allow us to get that pretty straight. Same thing along here. Or, if you wanted, you could go ahead and just cut these uh, straight the first time. Now, cutting is a little weird when you're doing constraints. So let's just activate the knife tool again. And now if I hit C, I can activate constraining to an angle. So let's put our first point. And now you can see that I have an angle at which I can cut through. However, the one thing to note is that this angle is based on the view. And there's no way to do it based on the normals or global axes or anything like that. Currently, it's only based on the view. And even if I cut this here and then hit enter, hit three to go to side view, you'll notice that it's still a little off. You know, it's not actually perfectly straight. So generally, if you're using the knife tool, um, just get them pretty close, you know, assuming you're not using midpoints, and then just use your vertex snapping to line things up because the angle constraints really don't work quite well yet. So then I could just add in another cut here. Maybe I will just snap that down to there. I can rotate around. One thing you notice is that I can rotate very easily around any point 
uh, as I do this, and I'll just hit return, add a new one. Um, every now and then you will see that it'll get a little buggy, like here, it's gotten a little buggy, and uh, it cleared out as soon as I added in that new cut. But one thing to note is that the knife tool currently is more accurate and more consistent when in perspective mode than in orthographic mode. Um, generally, uh, orthographic mode works quite well, but doing it in perspective mode will give you more consistent behavior if you are experiencing problems. So then I could just go in real quick. Uh, one of the other cool things with the knife tool is that you can really cut through anywhere. So for example, if I wanna just add in, say like a detail loop around this, I can just do something like this. Start a new cut with E, cut through, cut through, and hit enter, and there we go. Uh, you can also even just cut directly in the center of a face. So let's just do this. I can just cut around, just like that, hit enter. And you'll notice in this case, it's automatically added two lines here because BMesh does not support holes in the center of faces. Uh, and so you have to have at least one edge breaking up that complete hole. But then we can just, you know, we can really make this as concise or whatever we want. Uh, we can use our new cut points as even snap points like this. So I can make a real horrendous mesh very quickly. There we go. No idea what that is, but it's cool because it does show a little bit of the power of the knife tool. Where now, you know, I've just got several, several different faces in here that I can work with uh, to make whatever I want. So this is also very handy if you wanted to, say, break up a face very quickly for destruction or something. You could just go in, quickly cut some kind of jagged angles or whatever, and maybe we'll do something like that. And then maybe I'll break this one up a bit more. And then this one, maybe this one as well. So here I'm just placing my cuts and then hitting E to start a new one. Do that, and then that. And finally we'll do something like that, hit enter. Then I have all these nice cracks here where I could go ahead and maybe just extrude each one of these individually. Uh, so if I do Shift or Alt E, extrude individual, take these out. Maybe I'll even just hit P to separate those. And then I have all of these individual faces that I could very easily create little broken shards with without much trouble. So there's, you know, there's a lot of different things you can use the knife tool for. Uh, it works quite well. It's really, it used to be very buggy, but anymore it works pretty darn well and can give you very quick and good results with very little trouble. So I encourage you to play around with it. Uh, it can really speed up your workflow and is really good when you're working on complex topology, particularly on characters or something like that, uh, just to really focus in, draw out the topology how you want, just hit enter and you're done.